Cool Tony here, your host, and welcome back, my friends, to a brand new episode on the channel. So check this out. We are back on the main village inside of COC. We have got a great episode in store for you. But to make this video as fun as possible, we're going to start off with a challenge for you guys, my subscribers. So Supercell has just released the Clan Wars update for Clash Royale. And my question to you guys, my subscribers, when do you think we are going to be receiving the first sneak peek for Clash of Clans guys for the next update so take a guess down below in that comment section what date do you think we will receive the first sneak peek now if I remember I'm gonna come back on this video go into the comment section and see who got the right answer guys and I will give you a shout out and possibly a 10 or 20 dollar gift card so take a guess down below in that comment section when do you actually think we are going to be receiving the first sneak peek for the next update. But check this out. We're in the main village, as I said. And for the first time, we are actually going to be unlocking. Check this out, guys. There is going to be, if we click the info button, a rune of gold for the home village. And also, a rune of elixir. Now, I've never seen these inside of the clan games for the main village, guys. They've only had them for the builder's base. Now Supercell is releasing the Rune of Elixir and the Rune of Gold for the main village. That must mean there is an update very close around the corner. They're trying to get as many people as possible to max out their bases as fast as you can. So this is literally the quickest way to max out your base right now, guys. Complete the Clan Games challenges, unlock more loot than ever before, and max out your base. So we're going to do our first challenge. We have got... 59 minutes to do it and it is destroy three Grand Warden Altars in multiplayer battles. So we're about to get ourselves into the first live attack. We boosted the spell factories, the barracks, and we've also boosted the heroes. Let's do this guys. We're going to go ahead and find ourselves a battle. There is also a star bonus available. Don't forget to leave a like if you want me to keep posting COC videos. Can we get 3,000 likes on the video, guys? And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We post videos every single day. Literally every day, we post the videos. Subscribe to the channel, join the family, and make sure you turn on those post notifications. The update is just around the corner. Okay, so check it out, guys. We have landed on our first target. There is the Grand Warden. We want to try and take him down to, of course, complete ourselves the first in the Clan Games challenges. So, this is the current army I'm using, guys. It's actually very, very expensive for Dark Elixir. But, of course, I don't need Dark Elixir anymore. I'm a maxed out, you know, max hero. So, I can pretty much spend as much Dark Elixir as I want. So, we're going to drop in one more Baby Dragon. Just to take out that Archer Tower, guys, I'm going to use a Rage Spell. And we're going to get some Wall Breakers in here. And I'm hoping the Queen is actually going to swing in. So let's drop one more Baby Dragon. Just to take out that Research Center, guys. And the Queen should go in to the Grand Warden. So here we go. She's going to complete Challenge Part 1. There he goes. And we've got one out of three completed. So let's use the final Baby Dragon down the bottom. I'm going to drop in the first jump spell, send in the witches, guys. There goes the king, the grand warden. All of the bowlers are going to go in just behind. Two wall breakers, and there goes a rage spell. So back to the queen. She's doing good. She is alive. There goes another one of those, uh, those jump spells. There goes the queen's ability. We're going to use the king's ability, and we are going to use the grand warden's ability. There goes a rage spell and a poison spell down into the core, guys. And it looks like we are off to an amazing start. So we should maybe grab ourselves a three-star on this base. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. If we can take out this eagle artillery, we should be able to triple-star this dude's base. It would be an amazing start to the video. 66% currently. 66%, 67% currently, guys. We're going to drop a couple other troops down the bottom, and uh, let's see. Oh, damn, we lost the queen. Unfortunately, the Eagle Artillery didn't go down. Let's see if we can finish with 70%, guys. 68%. Oh, damn. You know what? We're going to win the raid there. Let's see what we got, though. What do we get? 388,000 gold. Quarter of a million elixir. Plus, we got ourselves a bonus, guys. So that is awesome. And challenge progress, one out of three. Okay, so check it out, guys. We've landed on target number two. Now, this time, my friends, we're going to be going for a three-star. I'm going to see if I can complete this. And we're going to be taking down Grand Warden number two. So we're going to go in with a queen down the bottom. We're going to drop in two baby dragons to back up and uh, try, at least try to create a funnel. Hold on a second, guys. My queen might be in trouble here. Yes, she is. So there goes a Rage Spell. 
Gonna keep the queen alive, and there goes the Grand Warden. So, one more baby dragon to take out that research center, and I'm hoping the queen is gonna go to the left-hand side, guys. Is that gonna be the case? Looks to be. Okay, great. So, baby dragon, four and five go down the top. There goes the first jump spell. Gonna get us directly into the Inferno Tower. And we're going to drop down the witches with a large mass of bowlers just behind, guys. We just used the queen's ability in time. There goes the wall breakers. And there goes the first rage spell on the heart of the army. There goes the king's ability. Another jump spell into the center. And I'm going to drop this poison spell into the core as well. There goes the grand warden's ability. And the whole of the army is about to rampage into the core of this base, guys. Now, unfortunately... We seem to have lost the queen. That kind of sucks. That's the second raid in a row. She's died pretty early. But at least we're going to hopefully be grabbing ourselves a second star, guys. Now, let's see if we can pick off some more of this money. Let's take out that elixir collector. Let's swing up the top, pick off that builder's hut, guys. And uh, hopefully we can close in on 70% this time. So 67 currently, 68. All we need is two more buildings. And we are going to be unlocking a 100% loot bonus. So the Grand Warden is currently stuck. We got two archers who took out the gold collector. That takes us to 69%, guys. All we need is one more building. Eagle Artillery is down, and it looks like the Grand Warden is going to end the life of the Expo. And that, my friends, is going to grab me the 70% we were looking for. And I'm actually going to let the Grand Warden steal the Dark Elixir. And you know what? I don't even need Dark Elixir, but I'm going to do it anyway because I feel like being mean. I feel like being mean. Hashtag Tony is mean down below, guys. Let's see how many people think that I'm being mean. I, I honestly don't even need Dark Elixir, but at least it's going to give me more Dark Elixir to spend on my armies, guys. So that's going to take me to... Let's just take it out. You know what? I'm going to be ruthless. Absolute savage, guys. And there it goes. So let's end it there. Stole 3,700 Dark Elixir, but check the Golden Elixir, guys, including... The 100% bonus, you're looking at well over 1.3 million challenge, 2 out of 3. Let's get the third one completed, guys. So, we've already got the next army trained up. I think we need to get ourselves the heroes. So, there's the king and the queen, guys. Gonna jam them up. And we're gonna get ourselves into challenge number 3. And then we can do some upgrades at the end, guys. So, let's complete this. Here we go. Now, this is gonna give me some of the clan points but i think we still need to do more challenges so we're going to keep playing for the next couple of hours wow this dude's got 5800 dark elixir you know what he's also got quite good golden elixir let's take on this dude's base guys where is the grand warden there he is up the top okay i wanted to come in from the bottom but we're going to come in from the top just because that's where the grand warden is so i'm going to drop down the queen who's going to take the fire of the archer tower and whilst that is happening we're going to go in with two baby dragons who are hopefully going to make a final, guys. So there goes the first one and the second one. They are hopefully just about going to take out that archer tower before the air defense kills. Yes, we've done it. We've got the rage spell ready. There it goes. Two wall breakers going to go in. And whoop, we didn't get in. Okay, so we don't actually need these wall breakers, guys. The queen is going to do it. Whilst that's going on, I'm going to drop in the king with the witches. Three more wall breakers and the rest of the bowlers. We're going to go two baby dragons. There goes the grand warden. Rest of the bowlers going to pour in. And uh, I'm hoping we can do some serious damage. So there goes the queen's ability. There goes the king's ability. And our troops are now cascading into the center. So there goes the grand warden's ability as well, guys. Final rage spell on the heart of the army down the bottom. Jump spell hopefully going to get us into the core of the base. Here we go. King's entered the center. Got a couple of troops in just behind. We've killed the defending Grand Warden guy, so that's awesome. And the rest of the troops are just about on the town hall. The question is, can we take it down? We're going to drop a poison spell on the defending king, guys. I don't think my queen's going to make it too much further, but let's find out anyway. We're going to... We're going to see. Hold on a second. Is this queen going to survive? This is going to be interesting. We're up to 66%. She's going to take out the Eagle Artillery. Now, I've still got a Baby Dragon. If the Queen can survive this onslaught from the King, then we might be able to grab the Town Hall with the Baby Dragon, guys. She's done it. Okay. Let's move in with some minions. Let's take... Oh, no. She she needs to take out the Sergeant Tower. Okay, she's done it, but she's going to go... Oh, damn. She went down. 
Guys, that sucks. That sucks real bad. Now, let's see. Can we grab this town hall? Here we go. Town hall is open. Once our research center goes down, we're going to get a clear shot at it, guys, with this baby dragon. But there could be an air mine. Let's find out. Here we go. Baby dragon against town hall. Can he do it, guys? I think it's already sustained a huge amount of damage. So if this baby dragon can hold the fire from these Teslas and this expo. No, not going to happen. Dies and there was about 45% hit points on the town hall. But you know what? Forget about the town hall, guys. We managed to grab ourselves challenge progress. Uh, three out of three. And there it is. It is completed. Awesome. So let's also collect that star bonus. And that takes me to 5.7 million gold. 5.8 million elixir. Let's do two more wool upgrades. And there it is, guys. That takes me to 122 walls remaining. So we're going to end this episode here. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you shortly. Peace out.